Let's get this party started. Coverage tight, spotlight on tomorrow. Who you with? Trust, you'll be delighted that you followed. At first contention, the invention. We debate sports, of course we should mention. What's that? We cover games, we don't play suspensions. We 100, so if your star's missing, we let you know your squad surely gone fishing. We never fish though, no, not our motto. We sport, we sport on deals, on court, on court, on fields. The victors, the vengeance, the legends, latest invention. First contention fans, what's going on? It's your boy, Marv Banks in the building. And of course, when they get their victory over the Packers, he doesn't know how to act. You're the pride and joy of Illinois, Chicago Bears. Bear down. Bear down. Man, please. You know what, folks? I need y'all, I need to report this, this abuse I've been taking. After I reported that upset that was going to happen, Marv, you don't write. You don't call. We're supposed to be co-hosts. We, this is supposed to be a, you know, a symbiotic relationship, residual. And it's just, it's just, just cold shoulder. It's one game, bro. I hate Aaron Rodgers so much in the offense for what they did Welcome on the Thanksgiving club. this past weekend. They've been giving out presents to the Lions and now the Bears. They both won their Super Bowls this week. I'm okay. thankful. Yeah, whatever. Of course, we have Voice of God in the background. Voice of God, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We sport, we sport on deals. Big news that just happened this past weekend, Ty, or this past week. Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant, he says in the Players' Tribune, that's it. He sent a little poem, and, and it's a wrap. So he is officially calling it quits. Your thoughts, your reaction upon hearing that 24 was, was done. About time. It ain't Ooh. took him long enough. Ooh. I mean, the man, I mean, he should have did this three years ago. And he hasn't played, he hasn't been healthy for the last three years. This is his 20th season in the NBA. The Lakers stink. Um, and he should have did this a long time ago, man. He, I understand. Keep getting those NBA checks. When they paying out $20 million a year, man, you better, hey, keep getting that money. Keep getting that money. Get that money. Kobe, we don't mind. If you're out on the bench. <laughs> wow. Because he's injured all yeah. the time. Yeah. Uh, it's been real. It's been fun. This season, it hasn't been real fun. Kobe <laughs> even said so himself. I suck. Okay. So when one of your better options on offense is to pass it to a uh, swaggy P, Nick Young, and give the rook the ball, I think it's, it's time to hang it up. But this alleviates the pressure on Kobe, I think. With him saying, you know, this is the last raw. Instead of people saying, oh, my God, Kobe, what's going on? Kobe, 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 Kobe Bryant. They're saying, Kobe, no. Kobe, stay. Please, a little bit longer. We'll tolerate you being bad because the team is bad. Exactly so. Uh, yeah, they might be the fifth best team in California. <laughs> yeah, you know, you have, uh, you have the Warriors. Uh -huh. You have the Clippers. The Kings. You have the Kings. Um, you have the Sparks. <laughs> uh, I'm taking Candace Parker right now <laughs> over them. Uh, I even might take USC's basketball team right now. I mean, hot diggity dog. Yeah, you know, you just have a lot of options over there. We sport, we sport on deals, on court. Should he retire at the end of the court? At the end of the season is the real question. Should he? Hell yeah! The writing was on the wall when he signed that two-year contract. It was huge, and people yeah, were like, yeah. oh, do we pay him for what he's doing now, or is it like a lifetime achievement contract? But again, the writing was on the wall. We already alluded, alleviated the fact that he, he can't stay healthy. Okay, so, so that's the biggest thing right there. Man, on the, on the books, whew, that's, a lot, that's a lot of money for someone who can't be out there and can't produce the way that he used to. I mean, if you're going to go out, go out on top. And my man, he's... Tarnishing that legacy just a little bit by playing the way he's playing right now. Get that money. Hey, if Kobe said he wanted to play another two years, the Lakers would have gave him like two years, 30 million. Or 30, and, you think they would have went up to 30? Oh, they would have gave him two years, 30 million. Well, no one wants to watch 
anyone else on that and team. Ex- exactly so. The marketability that Kobe brings touché, in, brother, the revenue dollars that he's going to bring in. I mean, hey, listen, I take $15 million to, oh, oh, to our label. Oh, kid play again today. Uh, you said the contract was guaranteed. Yeah, right hey, that's guaranteed mm, money uh, right there. No, nope, I tried. It's not working. Yep, so, I got my shoulder. Uh, yeah, I don't think you should have. I mean, you might as well try to keep on collecting as much checks as you Man, can. Keep Kobe. on getting that money. I, I see what you're saying, but keep he, getting that money. He doesn't need. He doesn't need the money. Yeah, like, I'm not finna call another man's fine. paper. If you say I don't need, I don't need 15 million. I, I but mean, if you if you're going to give it to me, I'm going to take it though. And the Lakers definitely was going to give it to him. With that team, they probably would have been in their best interest. We sport, we sport on deals, on court. Obviously, a Laker great. Let's talk about his legacy specifically. What remains of Kobe's legacy, Black Mamba, as, as he's calling it quits after this season. The ultimate competitor, man. I the mean, ultimate? I'm sorry. I, I, I just <laughs> go ahead, finish. The ultimate competitor, man. I mean, someone that just laid it down on the court left and right. Uh, he was just out there just just putting his team on his back and just letting people have it. I mean, the ultimate clutch gene. I mean, you can't say too much more more about it. Oh, I mean, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, Ty, is there something that you want to say, Ty? Because I feel like there's something that you want to get off your chest right now. I mean... That brother ain't God. Dang, get off. The, I'll tell you something. Who's not close. That'll be blasphemous. MJ, okay. So, uh, Kobe was great. Kobe was great. The ultimate competitor. Hey, he was competitive, but not the ultimate. But I will say this. I think Kobe probably beat MJ in a one-on-one. Oh, why are you always <laughs> lying, Marvin? Stop lying to the people, Marvin. I'm just playing. You are playing. But he was a, the ultimate competitor. He though. wasn't. Yeah, that's, he why was he went ultimate. To, he, that's why he went to tell I'm MJ. I'm sorry. I thought I was supposed done. to be answering this question, the question that you asked me. Did I interrupt you? I let you go on your little soliloquy about this orange and blue that you have on. Swear Didn't say anything about it, Because you ain't going to disrespect Chicago, Marv. Not on this show, okay? They call MJ the GOAT for a reason. A reason that he's there. Record deal coming soon. Oh, Keep my goodness. With you, Marv. Oh, my gosh. Chicago does it to themselves. Um, but Kobe system though respect them yeah, commercials. Yeah, hey, <laughs> that's just like Kobe <laughs> Bryant slam dunk giant. I played the Kobe son. Don't try it. Uh, You're but, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but he definitely deserves that. He deserves to to be in a pantheon. I don't know if he's going to be in the the top four, top five, top fifteen. I don't know where he ultimately lands, mm-hmm. but he's going to be up there, top for sure. fifteen for sure. We sport, we sport on deals, on court. Top Laker of all time? That is the real question mark. Riddle me this, Ty. Is he the top Laker of all time? No. Who is the top Laker? Who are your top Lakers of all time? And who is your top NBA, all time NBA team? I mean, I know he passed Kareem, but Kareem mm-hmm. had one of the most unstoppable offensive moves in the game. Mm-hmm. Will Chamberlain was a player on the court and off the court. Okay. <laughs> Shaq. <laughs> See what All you right. did there. Shaq's the one who helped him get those first three. You know, granted, he got his own respect by getting the last two. And you call him the ultimate competitor, the ultimate fighter. I mean, Magic Johnson, <laughs> that's a fighter right there <laughs> on and off the court. That man, <laughs> that man's not going down easily. So where so where would you rank him all the time in the NBA? In the NBA? Yeah. Oh God, I need some more time. I I, I can't just like I would literally need to break it down. But in terms of Lakers, I would put him at like whew, you got Jerry West the logo as well. The What's, logo? Ah, uh, five ish. You put him at five ish? Five ish. Four and a half, five ish. What Four. do you say? Well, let me let me name off the Lakers that were better than Kobe. You have um, Smush Parker. Um, you have Swaggy P, you have Carlos Boozer, um, Is this you, like have the 2015 Roy, edition you have Roy Hibbert. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you talk about me being disrespectful? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, oh I will gosh. put Kobe, uh, second. And, wow. And I will put him right behind Magic. Uh, the way that Magic controlled the game, the way that he changed the game, uh, I, I believe Magic is a top 
for NBA player of all time. Mm. And I will put Kobe as second as the as the second greatest Laker to ever play. Wow, that's saying a lot. Yeah, I'm not the big Kobe fan, but hey, you gotta give up respect for him. We sport, we sport on deals, on court. The Pats went down, the unstoppable Patriots down, get their first loss of the 2015 season to the Denver Broncos and Brock Osweiler? The fighting Brock Osweilers. Uh, Talk about it. Yep, like he had told Peyton, oh, you, you just sit back and go, let me show you how to beat Tom Brady in a big time game <laughs> because you haven't done that in, in uh, quite some time. But it was interesting. Uh, the Patriots are now starting to look, dare I say, mortal. Um, they were this unbeaten Super Bowl bound juggernaut, but now it seems like they just came down to earth. Uh, it was interesting to see them lose because they was up by 14 and to give the lead away and let essentially a rookie quarterback essentially will, uh will brock osweiler come back on that team and come back and win Woo! they could be a little bit in trouble 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 okay you talk about them looking mortal they don't look mortal they look injury riddled i mean some things just aren't fair Cardinals last year without Carson Palmer playing with Skelton and Max Hall. It just wasn't fair, okay? But this is different. He's losing so many weapons. Edelman, Amendola, you talk about them coming down to earth. Gronk goes down again, and that's the story of, of the L. Uh, luckily, it looks like it's not as serious as we thought it was, but it's, it's, it's losing Gronk. That's, that's my biggest takeaway from this game. So, what does that mean? I mean, he's the ultimate Tom Brady, so he should be able to make his teammates better, right? You don't think he's been making them look better all year? I mean, he should be able to have anybody out there and make them look good. He had the ball in the overtime, and they lost. So? Who's Tom Brady's number one receiver right now? James White. <laughs> Brandon LaFell. There it is. But, <laughs> so? But he should, make, he should make his team better. Am I right? Or am I wrong? Because this is the same criticism that uh, Aaron Rodgers gets up in Green Bay when he lost Jordy Nelson. Uh, he lost Jordy Nelson, and that was it. Brady's lost Edelman, Amendola. He's, He's always hurt. Grunk. He's always His hurt. His whole line has been shifted around. The defense, they're losing, uh, they're, they're losing people on defense as well. So? So? Hightower, <laughs> huge. Jamie Collins, huge. So? I Deion Lewis is, is gone. And... and Brady still threw three touchdowns against the best defense in the league. So? Meanwhile, Rodgers, he, he can't throw two against the Bears. So? He should be able to put his team over and get that win. They had the ball in overtime, Don't make this personal because Brady's better than Rodgers. We, we, we all know that. This isn't breaking news, Mark. Anyways. Next question. Um, Dang, man. Get out your feelings, bro. I, ain't nobody in my feelings. You I'm in your feelings. I'm just pointing out the obvious because no, everybody's... Uh, you're not pointing out the obvious. I'm I am pointing, pointing out, out the obvious. The obvious. Now, yeah, they're in trouble because the best person on that team has went down for a couple of weeks. And his name is Gronkowski. The best person on the team? More, yep. th more than Brady? Yep. You, I, you saw when Gronkowski went down, the offense struggled. Hey, hey last time Brady went down... They had, what, 10, 11 wins for Castle? Ten, it, and Castle got pissy. Exactly so. So, yep, the best person on that team went down, and you saw the, the ill effects of it. Now, let's see what they do moving forward. I mean, they play the Eagles this week. Uh, they'll probably demolish the Eagles. The Eagles are just about done. So They are. They're just about done. Brady's got, like, I think he would have enough to beat the Eagles, but I think it would be closer than people think. Uh, no, that, I mean, they're, they're just about done. But. Hey, Chip Kelly and Belichick, they got like the little like bromance type thing. So I think Chip Kelly will get yeah. up for that game. The question is, will his players get up for that game? We sport, we sport on deals, on court. So here's the next question. All in favor that had the Panthers as the last undefeated team, raise your hand. And that exactly would be nobody. So Ty, are the Panthers the best team in the NFL right now? God, this is going to be kind of disrespectful, but they're not. <laughs> Based off their schedule, yes, but head to head, I think you put them against the Cardinals, who did struggle against the 49ers over the weekend. I think the 49ers are better, okay? They both have great defenses. I think the Panthers are a little bit better, but not only do you have Carson Palmer, yes, you have Cam, but 
Carson Palmer's offensive weapons puts him over. Fitzgerald, oh reliable. You got Floyd out there. You got both Browns, Jerron and uh, you, that team. They're just if you take one person out, someone else is going to show up. I think they're more even. And Cam is making so much happen on his own. I think he can only do it for so long. But they do have uh, home field right now, which should count for something. The best team in the NFL, I hate to do this. I hate to agree with you, but I'm going to have to. I'm sorry, Cam. I like Cam a lot. I love Cam. I it's like not Cam Cam's a lot. fault. It's not I like Cam's Cam fault. a lot, but I still, I'm, not, I'm not even a believer in Arizona. I feel like Arizona has those games where they can still slip up, where you're like, all right, Arizona can make it, and they'll have that slip-up game that you think. Uh, you mean like that 49ers game over the weekend? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, was strange. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it's just, I don't know. I, I don't trust them in big time, big time games. So you gotta remember, Carson Palmer has never, has never won a playoff game as well. That was under Marvin Lewis, and in Carson Palmer's defense, Marvin Lewis has never won a playoff game. So I mean, I'm gonna give him some kind of pressure off of that. But uh, he's been he's been in the league for 12 years. Ty. Okay, okay, touche, touche. Okay, touche. He's been in the league for 12 touché. years. Now, Cam Newton hasn't beat. A playoff caliber quarterback. It doesn't. He has a playoff win. It doesn't matter against John Hall or Max Skelton. Which one was it? It, it doesn't matter. Asterisk. It doesn't matter. It's still a playoff win. The Patriots cheated and got three Super Bowls, and you don't say they got an asterisk next to their Super Bowls. There's three of them. You can only put an asterisk on so many. They cheated in all three of them. Well, I mean, if it was Bowie Gate when the Saints won their Super Bowl. Hey, when you got multiple rings, man, I, I ain't going. I ain't going to call it cheating. Oh, wow. I'm not cheating. You're not trying. Anyway. We sport, we sport on deals, on court. Touched on Kobe Bryant earlier, but the question is, Peyton Manning, another old great in the NFL. With the news of Kobe calling it quits, should Peyton call it quits, Marv? Man, he should do the same thing Kobe Bryant about to do <laughs> and keep getting those checks because that contract was like five <laughs> years, 90 million. It was something along those lines. I think that... I, I'm not good at math, but that, that's a couple million in my in my pocket. Keep oh, you can say go ahead, Brock Osweiler, go ahead, keep doing your thing. I, uh, John Elway, I'm not retiring though. You 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 gonna have to pay me all my money. I'm gonna keep getting these nationwide commercials. You gonna have to. Yeah, I want as much chicken parmesan as I can get. You gonna have to keep getting me all this money because I'm not retiring no time, no time soon. Not, not, not on my watch. Get every money that you can get. You know what's kind of weird? Bit of nostalgia. Uh, Osweiler using the Omaha call. I think Osweiler needs his own call. It's time to just build your own brand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Build your own brand. He but, should use like Lincoln, like Nebraska. So he's using Omaha. Still too close. Still too close. Uh, okay. But I think Manny should call quits too. Now, I, he could sit back, you know, get these checks. Big dog on that team. If he wants to stay, they'll let him. You know, the coach can take some time off during the year. And Penny will be like, hey, I got this. He'll run a little meeting. He'll help them watch film and yeah. just keep getting his huge check. But you already talk about Nationwide. He's getting his money already, okay? Matter of fact, Peyton is so fun to watch on TV. He would have more fun if he didn't have to worry about football. Go out and host it. But you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if Peyton Manning wound up with his own nighttime talk show with him as a person. Don't you remember him on, on SNL? He killed Saturday Night Live, okay? So you know what? You don't need the league's money. You got enough, and you can continue making it either as a broadcaster. You know, people would, would die to have him on their team. Or just keep getting these endorsement checks where you don't got to get up early and work out and, and throw the ball 10 miles an hour. Unless uh, you're playing the Packers and you beat them. Like I said, yo, keep getting, keep getting these checks, man. Keep getting these NFL checks. Is they still going to come? Hey, that's going towards your pension, too, as well. That's going towards your 401k, your retirement plan. He like get, LeBron. He's just going to take weeks off. Yeah, he's going to take weeks And then off. come back when he feels like it. Mm -hmm. so oh, keep, Brady? Brady's on the schedule? Uh, Put me yeah. in, coach. Yeah, I'm ready. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play that game. I'm ready to play that game, coach. We sport, we sport on deals, on court. Cobra Bryant is done. Peyton Manning, maybe, should be done. Writing maybe on the walls for him as well. Keep getting that check. <laughs> All right, Mark, your back's against the wall. Clock's counting down. Mm -hmm. Fourth quarter. One player to make a play to help you win that game. You going with Kobe Bryant on the court? Or you going with Peyton Manning on the field? Uh, I'm going with Kobe Bryant on the court. Kobe Bryant. Because he's clutch. Uh, I mean, he's clutch. And we know Peyton's record in the playoffs is... Uh, 
let's say suspect to say the least. It's yeah. a little bit uh, interesting. Yeah. The numbers, he kind of gets a little tighter on the collars around that time. So I'm yeah. going with Kobe, uh, Kobe in a clutch. Yeah. I really wanted to show some love for uh, Peyton Manning. Um, but yeah, that playoff thing at uh, see, Peyton, he also needs to rely on multiple people to make him look good. So even if he is clutch, they could drop it or it can get cold, all these variables. Mm -hmm. Whereas Kobe, <laughs> give me the ball, get out the way. Kobe system. Uh, yeah, well, pretty much. Exactly. You're welcome. Yep, just like that. We sport, we sport on deals, on court. But which team is in a better position to win a championship? Because we know Peyton Manning is just about done, so that's Brock Osweiler's team moving forward. So which team is in a better position? Okay, so. The Lakers or the Broncos? We just got done watching the Broncos with Brock Osweiler beat Tom Brady and the Patriots asterisk. But, hey, this is the way it's supposed to be done. This is how you groom good quarterbacks, okay? You're supposed to sit for a while, especially when you can sit behind a future Hall of Famer a la Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre, okay? And that's how you groom a quarterback. He came in and he's performed, okay? And so you, you can't be mad. He's got some velocity. It looks like Kubiak's is, Kubiak system is working better with Osweiler. The Broncos, head and shoulders, way in front of where the Lakers are right now if Kobe was to leave at the end of this season. Okay, I, I understand. I, I get it. You do understand. You do get it. I do very get clear. it. But I'm going to say the Lakers, and okay. here's the reason why. Oh big name God. free agency, big name free agents didn't want to come play for the Lakers. You know why? Mm. Because Kobe Bryant was still there. Kobe Bryant. You know, who doesn't want to go play at L.A. in front of Jack, in front of the celebrities, with all the money and things coming in? They can still take over the Clippers, because the Clippers are the Clippers. So... I was going to have to say the Lakers because I think they can still make some big time power moves moving forward. Maybe, maybe there's a certain point guard whose free agency is coming up next year. He's from LA. He'll be a nice person to be the franchise of the team. Nice little kickstart. Exactly like that. You know, I'm not saying no names, but I, you know, he could be. He could be a nice face of the franchise moving forward, Todd. You know, you know that fashion industry could do wonders for him as well. Exactly so. We sport, we sport on deals, on court. College football playoff ranking check-in. That's a mouthful. Clemson, still number one. Number two, roll tide. Number Trey. Boomer Hawk. Sooner. Boomer. Are they three? Hawkeyes, three. Boomer Sooner. All right, Boomer Sooner. And then number four, Iowa Hawkeyes, okay? On the outside, we've yeah. got Michigan State and Ohio State, five and six. Woo! Yep. Thoughts on the top four? Uh, you like them? You don't like them? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I do like them because essentially whoever wins between Ohio Iowa and Michigan State gets in. Um, if there was a slip up between Alabama or Clemson, Ohio State gets in. So mm -hmm. uh, B110 is, uh, is looking pretty nice right now. They're looking very very, very nice. I, I think the rankings uh, did them well. Did them very well. I agree. Superb job on it. And the beautiful thing about it is, again, it will work itself out with the Big Ten Championship. And, yeah, mm -hmm. again, biggest takeaway is, yeah, shout out to the Big. For all the stuff we hear about the SEC, granted, they knock each other off, okay? Yeah. But don't disrespect the Big Ten. These are some good programs, especially up top. Especially up top. Mm -hmm. Who knows what Michigan's going to look like a few, year, a few years down the line. Mm -hmm. And so... You know, up top, they, they strong. Yeah, it's strong. Strong. It's strong. Uh, but like you said, Michigan did take the biggest fall after getting, mm, 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 getting smacked by Ohio State this past weekend in the big house, by the way. Uh, they definitely took the biggest nose dive. But everything else pretty much was status quo from there. Cool. Uh, rivalry weekend was fun. Now we're moving on to championship weekend, okay? What championship game are you most looking forward to? Oddly enough, I'm kind of looking forward to the ACC championship game between Clemson mm -hmm. and North Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, Clemson, of course, I believe, I think they are the top 
uh, team in the nation. But North Carolina, surprisingly, has had a very good season this year with Clemson struggling against South Carolina this past weekend. I'm not saying it's an upset, but I think it's going to be a lot closer than what a lot of people are thinking. I'm, I'm very interested to see uh, Clemson versus Tar Heels quarterback play uh, has been impressive so yeah, far. Yeah, very so. Clemson versus North Carolina. So that, I think that's probably the, the game I'm looking forward to the most. Ty? Go, go green and Iowa. I'm looking forward to that game, mainly because this is a chance for Iowa to show everyone, you know, we're not 12-0. and 0, This is not a fluke. We're serious. But at the same time, you got to respect the Spartans. And so to see those Big Ten teams seems to know how to pound the ball, square off at it for all the marbles, and <laughs> winner is in and winner is out, and you can be the Big Ten champ or not, like so much is on the line. So I'm, I'm excited for this game. That's going to be excellent. In a scenario, and I don't think this will happen, what if Iowa wins the whole thing this year? Man, Hawkeyes fans will drink and drink. Wow. And if they don't win, Hawkeye fans will drink <laughs> and drink. Because what else is there to do in Iowa? We sport, we sport on deals, on court. But now... This is what we all have been waiting for. The return of our social media roast, Kobe Bryant, top 10 NBA memes. We got more than 10. We got, we got quite a few for you guys. But. So why not just add more fuel to the fire in these memes? Because we don't need no water. Let it burn. Let it burn. Well, I mean, now that these are back, they still should have never gave y'all internet. Exactly so. So let's go down from number 10. Ty. Oh, I have 10. We have more than 10. Oh, well, we have, we have extras. <laughs> Starting off with our 10th meme that we have here. <laughs> He's such a jerk. God has sent me to show you how to play basketball. <laughs> but Kobe's Kobe. such a jerk. <laughs> and Co Kobe's response is, uh, I haven't seen anyone. The blasphemy, bla this, this, is, this is great. This is great. Luke Walton out to do his thing with the, with the Warriors, but don't forget who, who don't forget who, who, who made things happen for you, Luke. Who made things sh shake and shimmy for you, Luke? I know, exactly. For him to win Western Conference Coach of the Month. For doing nothing. Exactly so. Speaking of doing nothing, mm, Kobe ain't the only one signing a huge two-year, $24 million extensions. I have no comment about this one. No the comments at all? The blasphemy about, because this, this could go in so many different ways. All right, so. we've reached our Kobe passing the ball segment of this show. Uh, that would be Yopo, you only pass once. <laughs> Never forget. Pass, to just get the rebound. Come on, y'all, that's why y'all on the court, man. Just give me the ball, feed the beast. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ty finds this absolutely hysterical. I didn't find it as funny as he did, but next. <laughs> <laughs> pandemonium, pandemonium by the artist formerly known as Ron Artest. Ron Artest. I mean, ultimately, with Michael, I can't seem to get that six ring. How'd you do it? I passed the ball. Hey, there is that first time Kobe hurt his shoulder is after he like had a bunch of assists, and he let you know this is what happened when I passed the ball. Yeah, they say I never pass. I passed Wilt, didn't I? Jerk. Hey, it's the truth. Mm, fade back to Kobe with the eight. And the afro. Yeah, I think that's the number that he should re that should be retired instead of the 24. Uh -huh. 24 made his own name. <laughs> this is when things started spiraling out of control. This honestly, besides the KD one, is my favorite. It's pretty much the truth, though, isn't it? It went out at the end of that season, and it was yes, it was the truth. They were lying, and this has to be probably the best one. Kobe system, Kobe system. Yeah. There's nothing else that can be said about. The legacy of Kobe. I mean, he has pretty much done it all. You're welcome. Exactly. So, well, that ends another show, Ty. You're welcome. Exactly so. Don't forget, like the video, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter while you're at it. Go ahead, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, leave some comments, especially when you think about our predictions, like my prediction last week. Swerve. Jerk. Um, I know. Continue to add to the Kobe memes as well for Voice of God, for myself, Marvin Banks, and for him. Bears. Uh, signing off. I told you, Marvin. I told you. <laughs> hey, hey, Aaron Rodgers was like.
Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Ride with first contention, that's full throttle in. We sport, we sport on deals, on court, on court, on fields. The victors, the vengeance, the legends, latest invention. Grit, like born for playoffs Say it all in small time like payoffs